Today we would like to present the KTM contrast sensor from ZIG as well as its surface interface. First of all, we will show how the sensor is adjusted manually. In order to teach in a certain contrast, mount the sensor at a distance of 12.5 mm from the object. There are two different teach-in procedures. First, the two-point or static teach-in and second, the dynamic teach-in. For the static teach-in, place the contrast mark under the light spot and press the teach-in button for 2 seconds. The yellow LED as well as the light spot start flashing. Now move the background under the light spot and press the teach-in button again. If the yellow LED switches off, the teach-in process was successful. If the teach-in button is pressed again within 10 seconds after the teach-in process, a so-called close-to-mark teach is performed. This means that the switching threshold is placed closer to the mark instead of in the middle between mark and background remission. This feature allows detecting similar marks on different colored backgrounds with one teach. For the dynamic teach-in, place the object under the light spot and hold the teach button down for the whole process. After 3 seconds, the LED starts blinking. Now move the material between mark and background for at least 3 times. When releasing the button, the teach-in process is finished and the threshold is set. In case of a faulty teach, the LED starts flashing rapidly. In this case, redo the teach-in procedure. Of course, this adjustment can also be done via I.O. link in the SOPUS interface. For the teach-in, click on the teach-in flag and select one of the teach-in methods. Then perform the teach-in procedure as described before in the manual mode. For the two-point or static teach, click on start two-point teach and place the mark under the light spot. Then click OK. Now place the background under the light spot and press OK again. A message confirms the successful teach. The same applies for the dynamic teach. Place the object under the light spot, click the start dynamic teach button and move the object at least three times between mark and background. Click OK when you're finished. The threshold of the switching output can be adjusted by clicking on the settings flag and then on Q1 settings. The threshold can be adjusted in 5% steps between 5 and 95%. Another way is moving the threshold level with a mouse on the central screen. Like this, the close to mark setting can be done even more precise and difficult applications can be solved in a very quick and easy way. The stored values for a certain job can be exported and stored by using the job assurance flag. A job contains the information about the remission of the mark in the background as well as the switching mode light or dark switching, the set relative threshold, as well as the teach in quality and the emission color. The job assurance mode assures a quick and easy format change during production. 